ins and outs of, of how it all works. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how this experiment goes. Um, I have been on Twitch since uh, September 8th. And I know this for a fact, September 8th, 2017, because that was when Destiny 2 dropped. Oh, and when Destiny 2 dropped, uh, before then I was just a casual Twitch streamer. I would go in ahead and I would just, I would just occasionally Twitch when I felt like it. Um, but then I said, you know what? When Destiny 2 drops, I'm gonna try being a daily Twitch streamer. And I started following a, 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 a very rigid schedule and um, <clears throat> that schedule has since then changed dramatically because I changed day jobs. Uh, the other thing I should probably announce on this, on this, because one person in the room knows this, uh, you're also looking at the future author of Twitch for Dummies. Nice. <laughs> from funny. Wiley also Publishing. It's a yeah, it's, it, it's, yeah, that's what I'm working on right now. Um, Do you have a trademark permission for the Dummies word, though? Do what? Do you have a trademark permission for these? No, they're hiring me. Oh, the for dummies so people are hiring me, oh, oh, oh. and they're hiring me because I'm the, I'm also one of the editors of podcast. I'm sorry, one of the authors of podcasting for dummies. He's oh, he's know. legit. I am truly legit, and oh, literally wrote the book. I literally wrote the book on being a dummy. Oh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> so I've exited host mode. So it's working good. now. Oh, so it's working now. Right, good, good. So um, so everybody, uh, so so that's what I'm bringing to the table is uh is is the perspective on Twitch. Although I can say we've been. Uh, at least I've been, I, can, I can't say about these two, but I have been live streaming stuff since the days of Periscope. Yeah. So that's going back. What does uh, that mean? Periscope was uh, basically what started this, which was um, uh, you know, being able to stream from your phone and all that. Uh -huh. uh, it was something that was started up by Twitter uh -huh. and has, is, still, is still in use, but it's not as rampant as it once was. Um, <clears throat> And we're going to talk about some other, some of the other uh, streaming services that are out there. And yeah, finally, all right. So uh, I'm Peter Bryant. I uh, run a, a show called The Myth Wits. It's a weekly live uh, web series. <laughs> uh, been doing it for five years. We're in the middle of season five right now. Uh, we started with YouTube Live when YouTube Live was in its infancy. I think it was within months because I had never even heard of YouTube Live, <laughs> and we were just going to do like a YouTube channel. I forget, I forget how we were going to do this. I forget, I forget we were like, we wanted to go live. I didn't even know YouTube Live was a thing. I think we were going to go Twitch or something. Oh, no. Oh, no. Justin TV. We started Justin out. Justin TV. That's right. Wow. We, oh. I think our first cast was on Justin TV. I think our very wow. first one. And then we found out about YouTube Live, and we switched over to that too immediately because it had just started up. Right. Uh, we did YouTube Live for three years. Then we moved over to Twitch. I tried Twitch. Did not have good success for Twitch for a year. That's just... It's, it really depends on a million things. And then we moved back over to, we moved over to Facebook Live starting January of this year, and it has been fantastic for us. And just so you know, I just got a live comment from the air of a friend of mine from my day job who is currently following me on Twitch. <laughs> he is in the air right now going to a conference out in out, out west nice. in, Oak, in Oakland, and he just pinged me. Ah! I freaking love this stuff, guys. <laughs> he's 30,000 feet in the air right now. Exactly. And he's watching me. Right. Oh, my brain. Wow. <laughs> so, well, you know what? You know what it is, T? He's trapped in a small metal box. And he, hasn't had, he hasn't had very many options. <laughs> you don't understand. I'm not stuck in here with you. <laughs> You're stuck in here with me. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I, right. I got started uh, with a couple of uh, shows that were originally just podcasts. Uh, but then we discovered that Google Hangouts had a Hangouts on Air function yes. that is more or less defunct now. It's because it's been integrated with YouTube Live, and uh, and they helpfully removed a bunch of a bunch of functionality, um, yes. and uh, that was really appreciated. <laughs> but, with uh, no notice. Yeah, but. Uh, <laughs> It is, uh, it is still where I do uh, talking about Survivor Live, although we, we don't get a lot of live viewers on that because our schedule is so What's irregular. Hmm? Oh, no, Survivor, the TV show. Okay. My podcast is talking about Survivor, and we do it live. Right. Okay. While the show is on. Or no, no, no. We just, we're, we're just recapping the show okay. and talking about it. But gotcha. the, pro the part of the difficulty with that particular one is that my co-host for that show his schedule is very different from mine, and we very rarely can record at the same time one week to the next, which makes it hard for a live show to attract an audience. Okay. But uh, also, when Game of Thrones is on, I'm part of a, a show called Beyond the Wall, where it's essentially the same thing. We're talking about the latest episode, but we do it live. We have uh, you know, an active chat 
um, discussing and listening, and we uh, respond to the comments as we go live. That's sort and this of thing. is before that old Chris Harwick started all this, right? <laughs> <laughs> so um, he got the idea from us. I, really. I believe it. I, I met him at Dragon Con once, and it's like that was I it. Tell. There you go. There you go. So, um, so you're hearing about all the different stuff that we do. Um, one of the things that I do with Twitch uh, is um, actually this is the first IRL feed I've ever done, I and uh, IRL in real life, okay. in real life feed. And uh, I had a whopping, what, 30 seconds to prepare for it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, and this is, this is honestly how you would, how, if I were, if I had had a little more planning, a little more prepping, this is how a stream would normally begin. Hi, everybody. How you doing, chat? You're gaming with the Team Monster, and I am here live at Balticon. <laughs> and we're doing a panel on Twitch, on Facebook Live, on different ways of streaming, and uh, that would be how I would start how I would start my feed. Only my feed would be I'm playing Destiny, and Twitch is known primarily for for uh, for for streaming of video games. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it used to be exclusive, an exclusive right. thing, and with. Um, so what else does it do besides video games? That's a very good question. So uh, it started off that way, and usually it was one person one person doing one video game. And, um, and people, some people still do that, but uh, I am what some people would call a variety streamer because I, have, uh, I stream Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday nights, and then I stream Saturday mornings. But Thursdays I have called Thriller Thursdays, and uh, on Thriller Thursdays I find uh, an action adventure game or a suspense game. There are people in my feed who are already looking forward to this Halloween because on my what, whatever Thursday falls closest to Halloween. I'm going to play Alien Isolation. Oh, nice! Okay. And people want to hear me scream like a little girl, right. which they probably <laughs> will uh, on this on that stream. Anyway, um, but that's because I play Destiny. But on Thursdays, I play something entirely different. Right. And then just just Friday, right before this uh, this event. Friday, uh, mm -hmm. I I did Detroit Become Human. I just spent an entire night. Oh, whoa! Thanks. I spent an entire night playing Detroit Become Human, and it was a wonderful experience. And I streamed that. Along with streaming of video games, some people do what are called IRL streams, which this would qualify. Then there's some that just do creative streams. And I kid you not, there is one guy. Uh, I'll give him a shout out. It's uh, uh, the, the creative, the, the gaming author. That's his name, the gaming author. And he actually works on manuscripts in between games. So in one, and, and in what happens is you have an inset camera where it's, where it's you playing the game or doing whatever, whatever the feed is demanding. Behind him is, uh, is, is, a, um, is his, what he sees on his screen, and in his case, it's a word processor, and you'll see him edit stuff. Oh, God. And he'll sometimes say, hey, chat, I'm having a tough time with this particular thing. He'll say a few words, and they'll say, did you try this? Did you try this? Did you try oh, this? Feedback in the audience. Exactly. Yeah. Live mm -hmm. feedback. Oh, wow. It's like a um, collaboratively written book. Exactly. Right, right. Uh, yeah, he's cool. taking the credit for it. But right, it's of course still, he but, is. Yeah, yeah. But it's still that, 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 that like, you know, peer audience. On, you know, in, in. Mm -hmm. And then you've got um, cosplayers. Cosplayers love to, to show their, their, their costumes in progress. Um, <coughs> And then there's a, another another Twitch streamer that I, I love to watch, and she's she's just a hoot. She calls herself She Snaps, and it's really funny because uh, you know she said, "Yeah, I think I'm going to go shooting. Uh, I'm, I think I'm going to go shoot this uh, this afternoon." And someone and a couple of people come in. Oh, what are you shooting with? A Glock, a AR-15? What are you shooting with? I'm shooting with a cannon. <laughs> and and you know she's she's shooting with a, a cannon or an icon or something like that. Right. And then she'll take whatever she shot bring it back in studio, and then you walk with her through the process of editing the photograph. Oh, my wife would probably like that. Yeah. She's a photographer. Yeah, so she snaps. Um, artists use it, and now Twitch is actually starting up an audio channel, and it's live performances from, 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 uh, from indie bands. Uh, it's, it's starting to gain traction, and that's the thing. Uh, Twitch, uh, Twitch is, is known for video games. There's a lot more that you can do with it. Matter of fact, the guy that I wrote podcasting for dummies with, Chuck Tomasi, he actually started up an official Service Now, which is a tech company. Right. He started up a, an official channel just for Service Now, and it's a live IT help interaction thing. <laughs> so that's what that's what that's what you'll find uh, on Twitch. I'll, I'll tell you. You also find um, <clears throat> you also find uh, 
live role playing games. It's becoming really big. Yeah, on Twitch. It's really yeah, big. that's that's what I do. Yeah. So one of my one of my buddies, uh, Satine Phoenix, runs a thing called Maze Arcana, uh, and she's also a uh, I think she works for Wizards now, and she's running a new thing called Inkwell, uh, where she gets a bunch of gamers together. But hers is a super high production. She lives out in L.A. and she knows actors and stuff, and she's done some acting and. And uh, so they have like a whole set and they wear costumes. And it's all, no, no, they've got, I've seen the behind the scenes pictures. They have like, like movie cameras, like, like real movie cameras that they capture this stuff with and lighting and mm -hmm. they do makeup beforehand and it's a whole thing. But they stream it all live? They stream, yeah. When they do the show, yeah. they stream it live. So the okay. feed comes from the camera, goes into probably this, I think she uses the same software I do. If not, she uses one that's very similar to, to capture her, her stream and send yeah. it out. Um, do we want to get into the weeds a little bit? I mean, because we know what they do, I guess. Well, or, Christiana, you're, you're, so, you're, you're oh, running sorry, the boat. Okay. So, right. am, am I? I am thought I, you were. I don't think I'm the moderator, am I? Okay. Um, gosh, if, I, if so, <laughs> I am. Or, am I the moderator? I've been asleep oh, the shit, wheel. I'm the moderator. You're the moderator. All right, I can do this. I got this. <laughs> All right. So, so, so we will go into a little bit. Just as I planned. Just as, well, well done, Mr. Bond. Right. <laughs> Declare it so, moderator. <laughs> So there's, and again, there's other. There's, okay, there's, hang on a minute. Three. You just captured exactly what the magic is of streaming video live. When things go wrong, or when you have that moment of like, you mean to tell me that's what's been? I'll give you a perfect example that, that, that rivals this. I'm playing uh, through Tomb Raider, through the reboot of Tomb Raider, having a ball with it, but I'm afraid the game is the game is glitchy. Because at random points, I'm switching my weapons. And at random points, the game pauses. And, it ran, and I'm like, I, I went, I, and at one point, I just went, Fuck, no, well, you can, you can cuss because there, there's, there's no real regulations. But you do have to say, yes, it's a mature channel. But I just went, fuck, what is wrong with this game? And a buddy of mine in the UK, he goes by the name Big Marvinsky. He said, T, is your audio uh, for the game on? Is your audio command on? And I went, I don't know, because when you're it, <coughs> there are ways you t there are ways you stream video games. There's one way where you just play the video game, but there's another way where you interact with chat. You know, you you learn to get really good at multitasking. Mm -hmm. Turns out my chat turns out my audio command. You know, where I say switch gun, pause game. Right, that was still on. Oh, <laughs> so while I'm talking to people, suddenly I'll say, yeah, and I just had to stop. Boom, game pause. Well, what the fuck game? You know, <laughs> right. yeah. and then Big Marv said. Turn off your, your right. audio options. I turned them off. Game never glitched for right. the rest of the time. And I'm like, it's I, like, I need like to ass. switch to something. And like, yeah. what do I gun Wait, why did I gun switch? Right. No, I need a shotgun. I mean, I think that's a good illustration that the, the variety of content that can be found across all the different channels uh, on Twitch or other, you know, uh, in Twitch is what we're talking about mostly sure. here. But for example, Maze Arcana or, you know, I mean, some of the other uh, juggernauts as far as the role play community, Critical Role. Critical Role. Um, yep. uh, Dice Camera Action is one where the DM is uh, Chris Perkins, who's one of the Wizards of the Coast lead game designers. Um, you, you can have the ones that are <coughs> essentially professional productions. And then you also have all the way down to like, I just have my friends on a Google Hangout and I'm running it all off my computer in my apartment and nobody's getting paid for nothing. Right. And, uh, but you have that whole range of uh, content. Uh, you get paid for this stuff? Well, some people okay. can. Okay, yeah. It, now. That's, that's, that's a, a whole big question. That's a whole, let's, let's save let's that. Not, let, we're saving we're that, for that for we're later. We're saving that for later. that for later. Yeah. All right, so, you know, how we get this done. So right now, we're using, we're using our phones to do this. Of course, it's a great setup for, especially for con and traveling. I can carry my little book bag, and I can, you know, I can set up something and stream live, and that's the beauty of it. Uh, you can also do. A he can do that. I had no idea this was happening, so I'm propping up my phone against a full water cup. <laughs> and I always started doing it because you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we have got over here. We call this the MacGyver section because we're, you know, g give me a tampon, some chewing gum, and right. I can make this whole room blow up. But that's beside the point. Right. Anyway, you were saying. But, but then you can also have like, like at home, I have a whole setup. So I have, I have my computer. I have software that captures video and streams it out, and I've, I've got a whole thing going. So, like you said, Google Hangouts. We actually do our show through Hangouts. So that's how we do our show. But then I use, I have another monitor, I have a, a software that I use to capture the show. So 
it actually screen captures. So I tell the, the software, capture this section of the screen, put it here. Capture this section of the screen, put it here. And they're put on different layers so I can turn things on and off. And I have overlays, like graphic overlays, and I have images that appear. So my show looks like, my show's got very high production value. I've got music that plays, I've got intros, outros, I've got stingers, and they're all like at a, at a hit of a button. I can switch between things like a TV channel. Yeah. Um, and that, that's really complex stuff because I also had to put a piece of software on my another another piece of software on my computer so I could capture sound so I could have a soundboard because you can't just stream the sound from your computer. So this is the high end version. Yeah. This is the high end this is the this is the the the, the version I'm aspiring to and I'm hoping <laughs> to get to that. However the way I stream is very basic. Um, I've got a PSI E Y E which is a camera plugged into my PS4. I then have the PS4, um, the PS4 camera pointing at me, and then I do everything through the PS4. Uh, and, and PlayStation, now they just recently, and I gotta find out how to do this, but they, PS4 just really, uh, PlayStation, sorry, just released an update that allows you to now stream Spotify yeah. through it. Yep. So now you can stream Spotify, and then you can probably, I'm sure they've got things where it's like, okay, now you wanna stream Spotify? You set the audio levels of the of your game versus Spotify. Then you film yourself, and as you're capturing everything, you're sending it out. You can stream the Spotify music. They worked. Yes. A, they worked a deal. They worked out a deal. They worked, now, out, a deal. They yeah. worked out a deal. Here, here's where things can start hold, to get that question. messy, hold though. That. Is uh, what I de tend to do with my D and D games is they're streamed live on Twitch, but then I export them to YouTube to yeah. maintain yeah. an archive. Right. You but you couldn't have like if you were if we were streaming Spotify music and then try to export it to YouTube, it would get the it would get the copyright. Yeah, copyright. Yeah, yeah it would right? get the copyright. Um, and so depending on where you're wanting it to live, there can be different rules, right. and so it right. can be can be fairly complicated. Yeah. But but going back to why I'm bringing up the simple layout is because this is how easy, mm. not just not not just the PS4, but just any gaming console has made it yeah. to stream. Um, I would say of, of all the different streamers that I follow on Twitch, two of them have said, I was just looking through my PS, my, my, my PlayStation, and I saw this thing called Broadcast Gameplay, and I was like, okay. They, they, just, they just randomly hit it and suddenly, they're, they're streaming mm -hmm. and they had no idea what they were doing <laughs> sometimes and, and now and now they've got they've got subscribers and they've got tons of followers and they're they're doing they're they're doing big time stuff and and, and they've been at it for a long time but um this there there are there are varying levels where, where, where peter's at right now is is a, is a high level and that's a great level to be at and i i that's the level i want to be at yeah. right now i'm still at the at the learning to walk phase in my opinion um, I have a simple camera. I do it all through PS, uh, through, the, through, the, uh, through the PlayStation. And, uh, and my audio is all coming in through the game, the, the game headset. So uh, what I'm trying to polish up on is to make sure that I'm playing while interacting with chat. That's the tricky part. Yeah, because you're trying to play a game. <laughs> yeah, and you got stuff going on. You're like, hold on, hold on, you know. And that's that's the same thing with with the the earlier uh, question about well, what if I don't want to do a video game? Well, do you want to do creative? Yeah, you can do creative, but you still got to keep talking to your to your audience. Yeah. Um, there's only so much that people can watch you fiddle with something in Photoshop before you're like, okay, this person isn't talking <coughs> to to me. They're not answering my questions. I think I'm moving on to someone else. But that's like our interview show. I mean, that's why we wanted to go live. We wanted to be able to do interviews where you could ask questions. So if I have a guest on that you're interested in and you like, I mean, you have access to that person and it just, it's such a, we've grown a community where it's just so interactive and people love to just watch us and they, they talk and they talk with each other. Like they banter with each other. There's so much stuff going on in that room that has nothing to do with what we're, what, with us. Like we don't have to interact with it at all. They're making fun of each other. They're making fun of us. Sometimes they'll say something, and we'll bring it up on the show. Uh, we'll ask the guest questions. So every once in a while, the guest actually gets a question, which is <laughs> odd to me. I'm like, I, I brought this person in who's an expert in this thing that you're watching, and you have no questions? Really? None of you? Uh, sometimes, but, but sometimes we do get them. But you're right. It's hard. I have a hard time watching because I'm interviewing, and I'm trying to pay attention to what this person is saying, and I've got another conversation going on here. And I wanted to ask Christiana about that because I know you mm -hmm. also do so many levels. Yeah, and that's that's the Twitch thing where you're where you're right. role playing with with Starla. With, yeah, so with, the uh, the D and D streams that I do, the sort of the the brand to to so to speak, is called so many levels, um, and 
so I guess what was the specific question? What, what was that? Uh, how do you? Because what I've seen, because mm -hmm. uh, I've sat in on some of your streams. First off, they're fun as hell, because it, when 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 they start riffing on each other on something in the dungeon. I'll throw in a snarky comment, and then it just snowballs in their in in their campaign. So I yeah, so I've yeah. wondered about that. About do you find that difficult to like stay focused on what's happening in the game? Well, uh, generally speaking, um, I will I will check the chat when there's a moment of like me not talking. <laughs> um, occasionally, that you know comes up. If there's a, s a slow point, I'll go ahead and check. But uh, one of the things that has helped is that the players generally have it up too so it kind of between all of us we're kind of paying attention and that way we can kind of make people feel included but it's also helpful in case you know we get trolls come through we want to make right, trouble right. and then what uh, are uh <laughs> what are trolls <laughs> okay now yeah. well, trolls so, in D and D are these yeah. large creatures that attack your party yes right. yes and, you, you must burn them with fire so they don't regenerate yeah. The difference but, uh, between trolls and in between trolls there and trolls in in your in your stream is no, there's really not much of a difference. Is well, there? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> well, so basically, the way that the stream works is that obviously anyone who is deliberately seeking you out can follow your channel and find it there. But when you go live, you're also added to Twitch's list of channels that are live right now. Right. And you can tag your, you know, your stream with like I'm playing Dungeons and Dragons, so people can look to say where are some streams of people playing Dungeons and Dragons live right now, and so people can find the channel that way without having any idea who I am. Right. And so sometimes there are people on the internet who look around and find places where they can make trouble and then they get in the chat for the channel and they just start insulting people or saying bad words because they think it's funny or whatever. And Some men there are tools the to bad. block those people, but sometimes it can be hard because people who are really invested in this stuff yeah. get like nine or ten different screen IDs and they just really? re-log in. Which but is why you need good mods. Which is what I was actually going to say is Paulette actually is a regular viewer of one of, uh, of our streams and so I made her a moderator in the chat. So in case I'm invested in the game and I don't have time to pay attention right now to the chat, um, she, she's watching it just to make sure that she can also block someone if they're obviously only there to cause trouble. So just from a practical standpoint, when they're blocked, do like all their messages from the history disappear? Yeah, it says there's message so, deleted. There are, some, yeah. there are several tools. At yeah. the top level, you can time them out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Usually what you do is you tie them out, you tell them, please go away and think of some more creative right. way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Most trolls will disappear because that's 10 minutes they just move on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But if you ban them, <coughs> then uh, A, uh, all of their messages are deleted, B, right. they cannot log back in under that account, and it's logged to Twitch. Yeah. So yeah. if, if you have multiple on. accounts yeah. and you can right. catch them doing it, right. if you catch the same guy coming back, Twitch will completely and generally I, I find mm -hmm. that that's that's it's, it's one thing if someone is clearly there for that stream and they're just saying stuff that you're like oh, maybe cool it right but there's also people who are obviously like there yeah. just to say hey these people are live right now I wonder if I can make them right. blush by saying something awful when you get to level um, 69, and at that point you just want to say Okay, no, I don't yeah. want your message to appear in the chat transcript. Right, so, right. okay, go. You know what? Do you guys, how how prevalent is it? Like, do you guys? It do doesn't it? happen Never. all the time. But Never happened to us. I can, I can see that because you guys, you guys can be terrifying. Sometimes. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> it's like yeah. oh it's, oh you want to take me on? Okay, yeah, okay, little man, Let's come roll. on. Let's <laughs> roll. Um, so, everybody has a different way of dealing with trolls, and obviously the the, the bigger you become. The bigger sure. you become, mm -hmm. the more the more you're going to be a magnet for trolls. Um, there's a there's a, a a Twitch streamer I follow. She is absolutely darling. I think she's going to be a Guardian Con, and I hope I get to meet her. Her name her, she goes by the Tiddly Winks. Her name <laughs> is cute. Tiddly. Yeah, it's Tiddly. Cute. Oh yeah, she's incredibly cute. And um, when she gets a troll, she has a drop in that she plays. Go everybody, and then party music starts playing because we got a troll that we have to decide are we going to spurn the troll or are we going to adopt the troll right oh, and nice. she literally flips it and the guy says oh you dumb and he, he'll drop the c word well then she she bumps him 
Well, the troll starts poking, then chat gets involved. And then whenever this, this, this troll returns to her feed, she goes, look, everybody, our troll's back. And there's like, hi, everybody. And it, he, becomes, he or she becomes part of the group. Yeah. Well, and so I think that it depends a lot on what kind of content sure. you're trying to yeah. produce. Yeah. Because if it's a more general chat show and it's not too much of a distraction, it's almost part of what you're going for, right. that there's this open conversation right. happening, then something like that could be more effective. Could be more Whereas effective. Whereas when I'm running a Dungeons & Dragons right. game, I don't want things to be breaking the immersion. Right, right. So, like, I do not, do not engage just... Bam. There's also Bam. there's also another option too. Like I said, the the larger you become as a as a as a streaming a streaming entity, the more of a magnet you are for trolls. Yeah. Case in point, Bungie. I play Destiny, it's designed by Bungie. Bungie will occasionally do streams, um, more so than their podcast, and that's that's a different rabbit hole that I refuse to go down right now. But uh, when Bungie streams, they can easily get anywhere from 100 to 200 to 300,000 oh, people yeah. watching live. Yeah, right? yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I have to disable chat because yeah. chat's just flying by. But the yeah. thing I notice is that you get these people that pop in and they say, dead game. It's a dead game. This is a shit game. It's a crap game. Right. And of course, people in chat engage back and go, well, then why are you here? Yeah. <laughs> Bungie doesn't see it because there is a, there is a setting where they say subscribers only will 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 uh, right. will be able to chat directly with us, and yes, some trolls will pay five bucks to say this is a dead game, yeah. um, a fool in their money. What are you gonna yeah. do? Thanks for but, the five bucks. Exactly. <laughs> it's a bunch of like okay, um, but but there are times where the chat is just going by so fast and so furious. It's it's um, yeah. Yeah. you disable it. Yeah. You just go ahead and disable it. But. Um, there are, uh, but as, as, as trolls go, uh, I've had to deal with a couple, but for every one troll I, I've, I've encountered, I can tell you this, uh, in this community, there's at least 10 or 20 people that I've made friends with. Mm. Some of them I'm going to see in July at Guardian Con. I mean, I'm re I, I, I've been so, the, the, the community on Twitch reminds me so much of the community, and I know I've said this to you before, of the community of podcasters back in 2005 and 2006. Mm -hmm. It's got that raw, we're looking out for each other yeah. kind of feeling. We're all in this yeah. together, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, and I, I dig that. I, I think that that feeling of camaraderie can occur wherever you're able to like build a sense of community around something, but it almost can really only last within a certain size, yeah, and I then it so. starts yeah, yeah. You start to fracture. Like, mm -hmm. You know. One of the things, obviously, if we're talking about trolls, like it, it's hard to quantify exactly the effect, <laughs> but I would suspect that I'm more likely to get some trolls than perhaps these guys are yeah, just sure. by. Um, but even that said, it's also. You're a redhead? Gonna, yeah, obviously. That's obvious. Um, <laughs> one of the other. Uh, also, the bigger your channel gets, the more people are finding it for whatever reason. Because I think it's also, when you're looking up and you're discovering a stream that way, it'll also say how many other people are watching, right? right. And so people will often gravitate to the ones that have a lot of people watching. Right. Because they need their attention, right? Right. Yeah. Are you um, still paying $5 to watch you guys? No, no, no. Um, so uh, we'll, should, should we'll we probably go, talk about subscribing, but just, just to finish the, thing the or? Sure. just to finish the, the yeah. one thought though, in terms of how often it happens for me, I don't have a huge audience, but what I get is someone comes in to make trouble every couple of weeks. Okay. So it's not a constant right, right. Yeah. Yeah, uh, thing, right. but it is enough that you have to have a plan for it. Are you satisfied with the tools that, that the streaming services provide you to deal with it? So far, but at the same time, if I started getting it an order of magnitude more, right. that, would, that would start to become yeah. difficult. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, here comes the you know the, the questions. How do you make money doing this this kind of thing? <laughs> I I am gonna tell you that I don't have a big opinion on this because I can't seem to make any money off of it. Uh, but I haven't really tried that hard either. I mean, mm. this is a uh, it's a it's a passion project for me. Um, when we when we're doing the YouTube live, they have you know they have ads and stuff, and I was kind of like you know, we don't really have like a ton of people. I might make some money, yeah. but it's it's worth it to me to not subject my fans to. Ads. 
right? I'd rather them just be able to watch a show, right? Because right. I don't, I don't need. To, I barely pay for it. There's very little that I pay for. I've done so much of this for free. Mm. You know, like the software I use, the streaming software I use, free. Uh, the YouTube Live is free, right? So all the stuff that I do is free. It's just time. It's my time. Not time is money, but but I, this is my hobby. This is what I like to do. So. I was like, you know, I'm not gonna make the money much money off of it, and YouTube would take a big chunk of it anyway if I did, and I, uh, so I don't really try to make money off of it. Mm -hmm. Facebook Live doesn't really seem to have a monetizing thing. No, Except unless unless afterwards, you know, people want to see it. Right, right. and then you, um, but what you can do is you can get sponsorships. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I don't think we quite have the numbers yet. We're getting there. I think we're getting there. I don't know if we have the numbers yet to like start getting people to like like your product placement and stuff like that. Mike, what's up? I just wanted to speak on the fact that you know building your audience is one of the most important things, and depending upon what you're streaming should have an impact on which yes. platform you're going to use. Mm. For yes. us, Facebook Live has been the best. Twitch, everyone's there looking. They want to see someone do something. Yeah. They're not there to watch an people interview, talk. and that's more like what we do. Yeah. yeah. We're not doing anything really. So right. I, I think that's why Twitch but wasn't. The, the, it doesn't matter which platform you're on, the interaction is the most important. Since we've been interacting more with our people, and, and sometimes when, when Pete and I are doing the show, he inter he will be interacting more with the guests. Sometimes I'm spending more time, if it's busy in the chat room, I am interacting more, and I am putting little likes next to people's names, yep. I'm making, and I'm, I'm pointing something. If I see someone new, I'm like, oh, hey, how are you? Nobody loves anything more than to be acknowledged somehow yeah. on the yeah. stream. I've gotten yeah. more follows just yeah. because I say, oh, hey, thanks for joining me in the chat. You know, things like that. Yeah. Now, uh, the, you, now, you were asking earlier about subscribing, about paying oh, five bucks. Because it came up in the thing. Yeah, yeah, it does. So that is one way that Twitch streamers make money. There are different uh, tiers you can, you, can, you can hit. One is affiliate, where I get, I think, like 25% of the... Of the of whatever subscriptions, however many I amass, then I get twenty five percent of that money. The rest goes to Twitch. If I meet all the requirements, I can then advance to partner, and partner means I get we split it fifty fifty. Mm -hmm. um, right now, this is just a fun side hustle for me. It's a hobby as well. Mm -hmm. But one of the one of the if you follow if you follow my stream, just click the heart, boom, and you're following. That's fine. I you know no big deal. When you subscribe, though, the way Twitch gives us these incentives, they go, well, if you subscribe, you get an emote. Now, what's an emote, you ask? Well, an emote are these individual little cartoon images or little, little, little gifts that you can drop in as a cheer or as a you know, good game or something like that. GG is what, what, is what you'll, you'll hear people say. I have presently two emotes. The first emote for $4.99 is a GG for good game. And this may not shock anybody that knows me, my GGs are two interlocking gears because I'm running a steampunk theme on right. my channel. If you subscribe for $10 a month, $9.99, you get the GG emote and then you get a, a thumbs up emote from me, which is a character. It's actually a chibi. Is that the, it's a chibi? Yeah, a chibi caricature of me mm -hmm. with a derby, with, a, with, a, with, with goggles on the forehead and I'm doing this. <laughs> and. I've, I drop that, and the thing is, when I, since it's my channel, I drop it in other people's streams. And I drop it along with their emotes as well, and I, I actually had a couple of uh, streamers that I follow say, yeah, these are emotes, T? These are great! <laughs> and so they, they dig yeah. it, you know? And, um, and so, that's... So what's the mech work? How does it work? And how it works is, you would subscribe to my channel, right. and automatically Twitch gives you clearance, to use my emote. So what do I what do I do with the like I push a button and it does the emote on yeah, you? Yeah, so like, like the, the the principle behind subscribing <laughs> is like Patreon, it is right. not necessarily yeah. that you are getting something worth five dollars as right. much as I want to you support enjoy this guy. stream yeah, yeah. you want to support. And right. yeah. and that's really what it's more but I correct me if I'm mis mistaken, but I'm pretty sure that what subscribing to a channel also gives you is access to the uh, video like archive, which yeah, is true, like too. which yeah, which true. videos are saved that yeah. you could watch later. Right. To, to me, as that's opposed the best to, part of it. Right. Yeah, and that's yeah. And so, that's, but the, the emote thing, I've never kind of gotten it. It's like it's to me, it's like it's a really annoying feature. It's well, for, yeah, it's for like, certain people, really for some people, it's really annoying. Like, for other people, yeah. they love it. And the, and right. there there are people that literally subscribe just to collect emotes from other people. So like I so I give you the five bucks and right. then I'm like you're you're doing your 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 stream. I'm, I push a button that says throw my emote out. Can yeah, I it basically says you, you know you get a drop menu and right. you'll see my GG. Yeah. And if I say something like come on chat let, let's hear it. let me get some GGs right. in chat you can either type in GG right 
or you can use my emote, right. or you can use an emote from somebody else. So I can, can I do it like a hundred times in a row? If you like wanted once, to. Or? And if I ask you to, okay. sp and sometimes I'll ask you to spam emotes in chat. Uh, now, yes, okay, okay. trolls can collect emotes, right. then go to other people, and then just start spamming emotes for no reason. Yeah. Right. That's, when the, that's when the moderator would come in and go, dude, yeah. what are you doing? Right. But, if the, but if the host actively says, spam some emotes, yeah. spam, and, and okay. again, uh, a good example, I was watching this, uh, this one streamer, his name is ZG Photo, and uh, someone just dropped in a GG, too. <laughs> <laughs> they just, ah, thank you, thank you. Uh, you're, you're digging this. So, uh, yeah, I know, I did great. Uh, but, um, but I'm moderating you, all your chat. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It's like, can't help But it. if, if um, like, for example, uh, this, this guy, uh, ZG Photo, right. um, he heard about my dad's death, and I was visiting his stream, and he said, guys, tease in the stream. Give up some hearts. Spam hearts in chat right now. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, I was in a really low place, and suddenly the, the chat room just starts filling up with hearts. And I'm just like, okay, you know what? I'm, yeah. I'm it, good, brother. It's a community yeah. engagement tool. Yeah. Right? I mean, yeah, it's like yeah. you go to a baseball you game and you buy the little right. pennant. Like, yeah, yeah, that's what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, you're buying You don't a have to use the emotes. Yeah. I appreciate you subscribing. Oh my God. <laughs> that is fantastic. You're right. That is a good because example. a pen is a piece of crap. It's nothing, yeah. right? I mean, it's I mean, no, no, I'm, 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 I'm not trying to, yeah, I'm not trying to demean, demean it, but there's right. nothing to do with it. But they'll go, GG, GG. Yeah. That's yeah. what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. I get it. Okay, I get it now. I didn't and get it. Now, <laughs> I and get the thing it. is, and the thing is, every everybody's GG is different. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you see two interlocking gears, you know that's T. Right. If you see a frog head with a GG underneath it. Well, that's that's Jay Sniper's. Yeah. And if you see uh, a caricature of, of of my buddy with his fist up and it says GG at the bottom, that's Dan Finity. Yeah, you do so, have to you make know. your own though. They like they're not just like they oh, but it's big business. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. big business. Um, but I just mean it's not like Twitch makes them for you. No, right, yeah. Right. Um, so I've heard some of it, and they have the accompanying sound. Is that also like part of it? Um, I think that? probably. It would be stream dependent on whether they want anyone in the chat to be able to make a noise. Right. Because <laughs> I know that I sure wouldn't want anyone. Yeah, do, they, do they have to be approved by Twitch? It's distracting. Uh, uh, what the emotes? Yeah. I don't yes. know because I actually they have to be right because I emotes. you know where it's going right. Yeah. Yeah. People doing some really nasty. Yeah. yeah. So, I, <laughs> I would guess that they do. They have yeah. to. But it's probably I would I would suspect <laughs> that it is a, a passive thing though where it's like everything's approved until it's reported. Right. Right. Um, as, as opposed to must be approved before right. it could be used. That would I be my guess. But yeah. The, the gentleman in the back had a question. Yeah. Uh, a couple of questions. First, GG. Good game. Ah. Good game. Um, G effing G. Well, that's good. <laughs> that's good. Fine game. Anyway, right. so. <laughs> gotcha. Um, the other question is, you mentioned something about the numbers to get sponsorship. What are the kind of numbers wow. that people are talking about in terms of what? What is it that would tell you, like, yeah, this is more than just your personal friends, and you know, kind of. How about level shoot they they uh, Twitch gives you a number of analytical tools to to show you things like what what point in your stream was there the maximum number yeah. of people watching? How does that compare to your last stream? Um, how engaged were people in the chat? Things like mm -hmm. that. It does give you those tools. And as far as you know, becoming an affiliate and then becoming a partner, they have, they, different landmarks. They have several different categories of thing, and it's basically you have to reach a threshold in several of those, and it's things like number of viewers, how often you stream. Like for example, if someone has tons of viewers, but they only do a stream once every three weeks for half an hour, they're probably not gonna get. Right. You know, but if they have like a million videos and they only right. have so many views, that's still not good. Even if right. it's a lot of right. views, it's a small percentage of the view of the stuff. Yeah, so it's, it's a combination yeah. of factors. Like I, I only just recently got that that affiliate threshold. Oh, nice. And okay. you know, I kind of okay. joked earlier. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I kind of joked earlier that about you know making money. And what I would definitely say is. No one should start doing this to <laughs> make money. Oh my no. God, no. God, no. Essentially, what everybody sees is the big success stories, which is the 0.01% right. of streamers that make a lot of money. 
And then there's right. maybe a 10% that make a little money, and then there's the 90% who don't make anything. Nothing. Make negative right. and, money. Yeah, and so, like, for, for me, in principle, people can subscribe, and they can do these little um, these little cheers. Yeah, yeah. there were these you know, one-time things where it's 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 like giving a little tip, like, oh, I, well, they have I like a, this person. They have a tip jar, don't they? Can't you, like, give, like, a dollar, yeah. well, a couple bucks? Yeah. I honestly jar. haven't really looked into it uh, that much. It but third party. So yeah. they yeah. there are a couple of things like that that like so in theory the mechanism that would allow me to make money from my channel is active but I don't actually have enough people for it to reach the threshold of Twitch mailing me a check. I'm still the only one who ever cheered. <laughs> yeah, so far. And 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 honestly, that's to me that is one of the things I'm looking forward to writing about in uh, in in Twitch for Dummies is talking about this very subject. If you're going into streaming, whether it's on YouTube, live, Twitch, or otherwise, uh, Mixer, which is the new one, yeah, the, the new kid on the block. Mm -hmm. um, if you're well, going in switching. specifically to make it into a money money making venture, um, that's like going to podcasting in a, as a money making <laughs> venture. Um, and there's a there is a there is a trap. There is a trap. I am meant for, and like, I am mentally preparing myself. For when I make, uh, you know, when I tell people, yeah, I'm writing for Twitch for Dummies, they're going to look at me and like, well, who are you to write Twitch for Dummies? You're not, you know, you're, you're not Dr. Lupo. You're not Ninja. And I'm looking, I would look at them and go, no, I'm not. Because those guys are still streaming as we're sitting here talking about you questioning my, my credentials. Right. Secondly, if they stop streaming to write a book about getting started in Twitch, they're, they're not done. making money. And they'll, and they'll be, if they lose their momentum, they'll be done. Yes. That's the, that is the trap. I think of some of the success stories that nobody talks about. These people are streaming eight, 10, 12, 14 hours. And I admire that tenacity. I admire that tenacity like nobody's business. That's a full time job. But that's their it's job. two full time jobs. Right. Yeah. And, yeah. and they're, I'm sorry, you know, I'm just used to full time jobs. But, <laughs> but it, it, it's, it's, you know, and they're, they're on all the time. They are, um, they're, they're, I mean, I admire what they're doing. But you can't keep that kind of schedule up. I've, I, I mean, I'm an old man. Oh. I, and I, I, I streamed for eight hours, and the next day I felt hungover. Uh, so as part oh, of uh, Extra Life. I love that. I love extra that Life is, well, I'm just my own sort of exposure to what that would be like. Uh, extra Life is a charity thing that happens every year, and the idea is that people game. And it's primarily video game themed, but the idea is people game for 24 hours for charity and you get pledges and people support and all of that sort of thing and so i've done it a couple of years it's like a nerdathon um, <laughs> yeah, and so and so uh two years ago i i streamed video games for for 24 hours and frankly it was not a super pleasant experience by the end. <laughs> and i don't mean because of trolls i just mean because it's at 3 a.m and nobody's watching right now and i'm like but you're still going no, yeah, I'm, I'm still here. Um, what I did for the most recent year is I judiciously choose to do two 12-hour blocks instead of 24 hours straight. Yeah. And uh, so I said I was going to do 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., two days straight. And what I did is run 24 hours of Dungeons & Dragons. There you go. Um, where it was one continuous campaign over that time, and I ran people through the Tomb of Annihilation module. That was a lot of fun, but it was still like that was my whole weekend. But I, but I, but you do bring up something that uh, I'm the gentleman had to leave, and I'm sorry he didn't hear this bit. One of the other things about Twitch that I find phenomenal, uh, and I'm hoping Mixer and YouTube Live and you know we'll start Facebook. catching on to this and Facebook Live, is the is the the notion of of charity streams. Uh, last year, for example, uh, Guardian Con were they were set they set out to to break their um, uh, they they re they had raised the previous year they had raised half a million dollars for St Jude's Children's Hospital, and Guardian Con said, you know what, we want to do a charity stream and we want to raise money to do it again, but we want to break that we want to we want to break that that half a million marks. So let's see what we could do, and last year Guardian Con raised over a million dollars. Over a million dollars on freaking Twitch for St. Jude's Children's Hospital. And I just thought that was the coolest thing. You know what we need to do, T? We need to do a Mythwitch show. We have all our guests come back and we need to do like a like a like a twelve hour, twenty four. I would hour stream. I would drop we're, everything. Guests would drop we could have guests so drop in and out. The first time I did this, the first time I did this, 
And uh, I was really stoked. My um, uh, This mutual friend of ours, this guy named Evil Aura, and that's with a three, V-I-L underscore, capital A, U-R-A. Evil Aura, he's, he's, um, he's big on, on pit bull rescue. Oh, cool. And uh, if you've ever seen the show uh, Pit Bulls and Parolees, Villa Lobos uh, Rescue Center, right. he does a charity stream every year called Gaming for Pits. And I'd never done this before. And I said, I said, dude, I want, I want to be a part of this. Let me be a part of this. And he was like, okay, do this, do this, do this, and you're in. I said, okay. So I'm streaming, and I raised. I mean, I've never done this before, and I raised over a hundred bucks. And I'm, I'm streaming at f at that time, five a.m. to eight thirty a.m. And I'm just like, holy crap, people are giving me money, yay! Nice. Nice. And then he said, I set out to raise. I think he said he set out to raise a hundred. Uh, no, not a hundred, ten thousand. He set out to raise $10,000 for Villa Lobos. That would have taken care of at least a month's worth of vaccinations, food, and so forth. He raised over $25,000. Nice, nice. I was, I, I, I mean, this wasn't even my charity, and I was over the moon because I'm like, I helped make that happen. Nice. Well, and it's just, it's a great feeling. That is, uh, I think, emblematic of what we were talking about a little bit earlier, which is like podcasting, yeah. Streaming creates a community. It does. And it's often, you know, small, but it can be intense. And obviously, sometimes it gets big and it's still intense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it creates this shared experience um, where, you know, like it, when I'm streaming in uh, my games, obviously it's me and the, and the players that are actually engaged. But then we have when we have regular... Viewers and we recognize, uh, you know, screen names, and yep. it's like, oh, hey, look, yeah. it's Mother Dragon in the chat. Yeah, and, uh, Reb and, through, and Reb it becomes through. this go. this community yeah. experience, yeah. and it's, it's really something. There's an intimacy to it, and I think that's really something. Also, I'm just gonna say hi. There's been people actually chatting in my stream, so it's like, hi. So you know what's <laughs> waved all the <laughs> chats? Hey, hey, you know what's in, hey. Do, do you know what's interesting? GGs, everybody. Oh, yeah. GGs. Hey. You know what's interesting <laughs> is that um, is, is that much like role playing. Which I, I always, whenever I describe to anyone who's never done it before, they ask about it, I say, it's collaborative storytelling. Yeah. That's what it is. It's, it's, yep. it's you and however many other people telling a story together, right? This is collaborative programming. When you have an audience... Collaborative entertainment. It's collaborative entertainment. Yeah. You're doing yeah. a show. They're part of the show. They're not on the camera, mm -hmm. but they're part of the show mm -hmm. because they contribute to it. Uh, at least if you interact with them. Right. So we, we try to interact key. with ours. Talk mm -hmm. to your audience. Right. Talk to your or, audience. Or don't talk worry about your audience. If you're not going to talk to them, don't, don't have an audience, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I, no, you can't. But you can't. Can. Right. What's up? <laughs> no, I, I was going to say, because Christiana, uh, your, your fan, Miranda, is in the room. She loves you. She like, <laughs> you, you are streaming right now, and her biggest question is, when am I going to be able to see her again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey, look, now, hold on, hold on. To that end, I will say, it's a really good thing and a good idea to involve some people that are that highly motivated. Involve them into your show, oh, yeah. even if you're going to make them a moderator or right. you're going to... We'll call them your number one fan. Call them your right. number one fan. So, what, speaking of which, the stream must end. Let's wrap it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> what am I doing? Well, yeah, I'm wrapping up. Let's wrap up. up. Yeah, right. oh, okay. Clo yeah, closing, so, uh, closing, closing remarks. I have found, you know, as previously described, I'm not making any money from it. But what I am finding is that I'm playing this game of Dungeons and Dragons online, and I enjoy that game, and I have the means to include even more people, and it's something that can be shared and it builds community, and it's fun, and that's why I do it, not because I'm trying to make any kind of a business about it, but I love it for that reason, that it's just this thing that allows me to share something I enjoy with more people. I think it's great. And uh, so as far as wrap-up, find my website, christianaellis.com, my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash christianaellis, but Everything's under my name, so if you Google my name, you'll find everything. Same thing. Uh, if you want to watch me play video games and yuck it up with knuckleheads like that guy right there who sometimes shows up, uh, we also uh, sometimes will do a recap of our uh, Destiny podcast, Happy Hour from the Tower. Um, my schedule is posted on my Twitch page, uh, so you can go to twitch.tv forward slash the T, T E, the T monster. And uh, you can also uh, get updates on when I'm going live if you follow me. You can also keep in touch with me on Twitter at T Monster. And um, I 
I basically uh, play video games that I, I enjoy and then hopefully uh, you'll enjoy watching me play. Sometimes you don't enjoy it, let's be honest. Oh yeah, oh no, 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 there have been, that, that has happened too, and I turned that into a comedy routine as well. Um, hope to see you on my channel, thanks, and uh, keep an eye out for uh, Twitter for Dummies coming, uh, sorry, Twitch for Dummies coming soon. I'm Peter Bryant, uh, I do The Mythwits with my buddy Mike here. Uh, we do Monday nights on Facebook Live, uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, every week, every Monday night. Uh, even we're taking a break this June and, and shows like this that we've recorded live here will take the place of that Monday night. We have a live chat room. Come in, talk to our guests, ask questions all you want. Uh, we interact with our audience very uh, a lot. Uh, you can find everything about us at MythWits.com. Uh, and we're on uh, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, that's where our show goes live. YouTube, uh, Instagram, all MythWits. M-Y-T-H-W-I-T-S. And that's our show. Thank you, everybody. Thanks a lot. Thank you.